would have loved to see this game remastered, even though I already recently started playing it, but it definitely sounds interesting. But there will probably be plenty of loose boxes and all that fun, annoying stuff. You amaze me. I always thought the surface dwellers couldn't care less about us outcasts. But you risked everything to help those infected villagers. I wish I had some type of reward to give you, but we outcasts have nothing. All I can offer is the gratitude of the entire village. Oh, hell yes! <laughs> Oh, how much money do I have? Not nearly enough. Well, let's elevator goes up. Let's see. Can I buy more? I saw you talking with Rukul. He told you his legends about the Promised Land, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? You know, most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. For an outcast, I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse off than it is. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I won't let that happen. Don't judge me. I learned a long time ago that if I want to survive down here, I've got to look out for number one. The two explorers who went searching for the Promised Land might have found something. They might have found clues or evidence, just like Rukul's apprentice. They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me. The two from the explorers and the one from Rukul's apprentice in. I can destroy the evidence, and make sure nobody ever finds the promised land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. Don't be a fool! I'm the only one here who can pay you for those journals. Rukul has nothing. He won't be able to come up with any kind of reward. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me, and I'll give you a decent reward. Now. Was there something else you needed? It ain't the best stuff. Damn, no more antidotes? Ah. 
Yeah, that flat really moves. Manual locks. 
No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you can see one of these on Terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I'd never have got you out. <laughs> by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Vulcan base. That was... I better come with you. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Ranker monster isn't still there. There used to be a Ranker monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge. Luckily, rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Okay then, off we go. Like I said... What skills do you have? Oh yeah, I got rid of all the... Yeah, I sold all the weapons. <clears throat> what?
Dạ I'm here Can you move? I'm really tired of this stupid ass bug
still bugged? Hmm? No, you're not. Yay. Hey there, what can I do for you? Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them, so maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you core slimes, and charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. <laughs> Zalbar, but I keep telling you to brush those choppers once in a while. Why do you think I won't stand downwind when you're talking? Anyway, I Ouch. knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so Damn. I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashi. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. It doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z's a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashi. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother. Fast talk and... My brother's a touchy subject, you know? It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Not... Okay, your highness. Elevator. You amaze me. I wish... Hell yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Can it be true? Is it possible that at long last, the dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? I, I can hardly bear to look. Hmm. Yes, yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the promised land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. True kill. What do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! What? 
No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Kendar. The Promised Land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many Rakul-infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. The journey to the Promised Land is long and arduous. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen. But the destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us. Ah. Uh. Everyone's gone? And they just leave the gate. Oh. Okay. <sighs> well, there goes the healer. Oh. Unfortunate. Before I use the shield, I want to explore the rest of the area. Can I actually upgrade that? Oh, that sucks. Oh, 
do something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad. Worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorian flavors. What'd they feed you, buddy? <laughs> Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. Ew! No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Good morning, smell like Fanta Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. Okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black vulgar who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. Is it you always get one? Yeah. What is with this? This is so stupid.
Don't take this the wrong way, but lately, I've noticed you're starting to look a little bit scruffy. <coughs> no, I'm not suggesting a bath. I know how well that went over last time. But your hair is getting all tangled, and uh, if you look close, you can see a few gray strands starting to poke through. <coughs> Don't worry, Big Z. It's nothing I can't fix. A little trim, a splash of coloring, and you'll be as good as new. Best looking Wookiee on the planet. Maybe a nice suit. <laughs> Wookiees aren't into the whole clothing thing, but you could start a whole new trend. You'd be on the cutting edge. Okay, okay, sheesh. Can you move yet? Huh? When do you level up? Looks like not for a while. Then. Still a melee, huh? What? Uh, yeah?
Well, um... Damn it, stop.
What am I supposed to be doing here? That didn't work. What? What the? F what? Okay, it took me longer than it really should have to figure that out, but... I'm here. Again, what? you're broken. What?
much. Simple. That's all. I'm not like these others. I'm not even a black Volker. Please don't kill me. Well, all right. I still don't know how much help I can be, but I sure hope you get rid of all the Volkers. I hate them. 
What? I, I have never heard of such a thing. I guess it might be in the garage on the lower level. That's where all the Vulkers go to work on their swoop bikes, but I've never been down there. The elevator is... Is she that Republic soldier? I heard one of the Vulker mention her, but she's not here. He said Brezhik didn't trust his men around her. I guess she's too important to be a slave here in the kitchens. Getting pawed and groped and kicked and spit on like me. Well, now that you've killed the guards who were supposed to watch me, I... Uh, I'm free to go? What? No. What? What? Watawama mulira, king kunjo peshak. No ba mulira ji. Joni yun turung chi, we eat a dia. Pola una chinek. Ba mulira, slimo anga kunbis king. Tonga bug sham uninong. Wanga kunbis king, ba mulira. Joni yun tunji ji aitha doana. Kava volpa muljui. Kamana, takum justak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu aitha odonga, tulpata bonk molya gando danago chuchut. 
moga shampong pa bolawan na chik ni. Pamulne slik mo poda na wanga kun bist muli rabest. Kachichu ay sa hautunga. In kin kun no ba muli ra chik kun. Slima podona. Rundi hautunga kun hongkabi. Takum just tak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu ai thao donga, tulpa da bonk molya gando da nago chuchut. Moga shampong pa, bola wana chikni. Ba mulne slik mo poda na wanga kun bist muli rabe. Tong hai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang ninko tu. Kachi chu ai tha. Chipet wana ni bobo. Tong... Ki puna! Puna nai kachu. Kimba no muli na na tuana. Konti chani. Muli ra a shong tu.
What? Okay, so I have to have you. How do I select different?
Nothing, nothing, nothing. Huh? Genius. Back to that then. What? What?
Kukuya mi juz kachita, naipatoga ya fulki kukula jiji. Kawana bota a ayut tagwa, kankidora tikun muatati mana izabola. Reshik stole that engine from... Karatum pa kun pa yiya moka pa ata. Wana chik yongi? Wana bota kun titarit. Kachichu aitha odunga. In kin kun no ba muli ra chin kun. Slim. Tonga bug sham uninong. Wanga kun biski. Mana mana tota. We itha na dana itia. Smilia. Ti. Achota.
I'm here. have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gadden, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator isn't stable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to inst- But I've got good instincts. And you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning, we'll take you to the swoop track. Miki, Grabble Mogo, Kachichu, Ita Bodunga, Tolba Bank, Wale Uganda, Nalu, Chuchut, Mogesha Punga, Bola Wana Chikne, Mamule Slimo, Fodadada Nanga, Kumbist, Kuyami Juskuna Chitanai, Ichawana Bota, Ayuata Hunga, Chakanki Dora, Kachitiska, Dusuki Kuba, Uba Batu Kochi, Tom Nongbong, Shang Nunga.
Okay, I know what I'm People, hear me! Before I present the so-called ch- Your swoop bike was using a prototype ex- Jawanabota, are you at the Honga Chakanki Dora? Kachiku Ita Hodonga? You old fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw... I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <coughs> what? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill this swoop rider! Kill them all! Missing so much. Damn. Maybe those bloody Vulcus will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize... Wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Vulcas would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here. Karth Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. 
And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. But here you are, acting like a spoiled child. I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. But we all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is... it's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. The force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Change anything. <laughs> Hell yeah. can I do for you? I, I was a little snappish when we last talked. I'm sorry about that. I get a little touchy when it comes to Griff. 
It's kind of embarrassing telling people about him. No, I, I want to tell you. Salvar's a great listener, but it might be nice to talk about this with someone who doesn't reply in growls and grunts. I never knew my parents. My brother always looked out for me. He's the one who brought me here to Tars. I was just a kid, only five. But I remember the trip, if you could call it that. We were stuffed inside a packing crate in a Starfighter's cargo hold with just enough food and water to make the trip. Not exactly first class, you know? I don't know the whole story. I was pretty young, but my brother owed a lot of money. Might even have been a few arrest warrants out for him, I don't know. The only way to get off the planet was to smuggle ourselves out. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like we were criminals. Well, maybe my brother was. See, this is why I don't like to talk about it. It makes Griff sound worse than he really was. My brother had his problems, but he always looked out for me. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Without my brother, I don't know where I'd be. He gambled and drank, and he was always borrowing money for his latest get-rich-quick scheme. But he had a good heart, you know? He taught me how to survive, showed me how to slice into a computer security system, how to get inside a locked building without the entrance codes, and how to spot a wealthy mark for a quick shell game. Yeah, Griff did right by me. I really miss him since he left. I keep hoping he'll come back someday. He promised me he would. He fell in with a bad crowd. It's all Lena's fault. She's the one who took him from me. Just batted those long lashes at him and off he went. I don't want to talk about Griff and Lena. Just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. Subject's closed, as far as I'm concerned. If I'm gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. So is there something else you need? Okay, have it your way. Awesome! In Kinku no Bamuli Rachin Kun Tong Hai Tun Kun Ching Ni Bobo Jimata Ni Punaje Dolpi Kik Nyunyan Rundi Hadonga Kuhunga Bi Wana Kumbes Takum Justak Miki Gravel Mogo Tong Hai Tuam Jiji Yumalit Pa Ang Yinkotu Tolba Da Bunku Shag Jikin Lord. Can I turn her to the dark side? I'm here. You again? Why do you... I can't help you there. Just one of Darvik's men who... I, I don't... No, I don't think... Good, I don't... Oh. A truth...
Can I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Yes, I realize that, of course. But you also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. It's quite a resume. Your modesty is admirable. But though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. Perhaps, but the Force works through all of us to some degree or another. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For hopefully between... Look at this! A re if times weren't so tough, I'd give you a discount, seeing as how you're a big celebrity. Because of the Sith quarantine, I haven't been able... What are you wearing? Heavy combat, huh?
I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. You don't need to ally yourself with this person. We should move on while we can. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Uh-uh-uh, not yet. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janus Nal. Just tell her Kandor is sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up. Normally I do this myself, but everyone knows who I would. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javier's cantina. You come.
I'm here. Ladies, he's a legend in the sport, a 20 year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for Mo! But there's always. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eye. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the... But which his opponent plans to take a tennis... champion, but I only fight in death matches, and not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? Finally, fresh.
Toma, toma. What? Hachu apanki, jishawa anibong ka sha chona si ichua byong tanga bok sha um nak nong kin kun shin shin ki. Mokao dang ya foki, cha chiska do punta kakas. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata. Tinku ukapa. Dopa no aska chini. I'm here. Hachu a punky. Tonga book shot. I'm here. Hmm? 
Actually, I have one. Hachu a punky. G. Tang up. Dumpa kapalia monapata, bona nakachu, yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun, tong na bun shanu yang. Kipuna na bon kakin chana. Kin kun shi kakachin awana wama bona nakachu. to the armor. I definitely want to go to the armor. Boop. 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 
I got I'm here. What can I do? Oh god, I hate this shit. Oh. 
Hodonga cha Tanki Bora, Kachi Kuita Hodonga, Topa da Bongualia Gando do Nago Chut Chut, Musha Papanka, Bola Wana Chitne, Bamuli Slemo, Bola Wanga, Kumbes Murira Rabes, Chiska do Suki Kumba, Nabona Nagachu, Abtu Inkotu, Topa da Bongualia Gando Nago Chut Chut, Kabachi Kuita Hodonga, Yala Moi, Line Lock to Jinova Murira Bobo, Wango Kumbes Kakan. Okay, I want to go to the armory. I see a flamethrower. Oh, he needs to be upgraded before I can do anything like that. Okay, okay. You don't have to go below. That's good. Oh, 
Five gigs. Here. True, and the probably EA would probably put in loot boxes and all that fun stuff. Apparently came out with a free DLC. I haven't seen that anything about that yet, though. Fall in Order is definitely a game I want to get someday. Oh, my God. 
to break my meditation. You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the Force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the Dark Side. You are a fool. This is a new age. The Sith shall be the ones passing judgment now. We are the new order of the galaxy. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you.
Uh, awareness plus two, will plus two. I'm here. Yep. What can Dogs. I do? Listen to me, people. Oh. There is a terrible scourge sweeping up. I want to buy more. A planet. Heed my warning before it. I'm here. care what happens to some yeah he isn't even supposed to be. come on let's go i don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore i fully understand why anakin killed him Is I here already?
Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. You mean, you're not here to kill me? But I, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. You'd give 200? Now I can pay off. What can I do? Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Oh. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. You have the serum? Impossible! How did you get this? No, wait, I don't really want to know. Can... can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this is it. A cure for the rat ghoul disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I could afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. I appreciate everything you've done. There... Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh... I am quite busy. <laughs> I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith. Except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop them. 
It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries and... What do you want? Have you come? If you ever... Hello there. I can see from your exotic appearance that you are not from Taurus originally. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jurgen. What do you think of our local music? The band is quite good, wouldn't you agree? They're on the verge of intergalactic stardom, you know. Obviously, you have an ear for music. Mark my words, they'll be famous soon enough. They were about to go on tour before this... Sith quarantine stranded them here. Would you like to meet the band after the show? Maybe have a brief brush with fame before they become intergalactic superstars? I can arrange it, you know. They have a standing arrangement with one of the Rodian bodyguards backstage. For the small sum of 20 credits, he'll let me set up a meeting with you and the band. Excellent. Wait here while I go set it up with my contact. I'll give him your credits, then I'll come back out and take you to meet the band. Ah, uh, sound. Let's bring the music. There, that should be enough. Was that Jurgen I just saw you talking to? Do you know where he went? You fell for his story. When I tried to get backstage to look for him, nobody even knew who he was. He can't. S I doubt he'd be dumb enough to show up here again. Ah, uh, just my luck. Deathmatch or... 
Ladies and gentlemen, come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by, to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years, but we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match in this corner. A living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle. Bandic Star Killer. And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face the almost certain death for money. merely for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your wandering eyes on the mysterious stranger. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin! Oops. Start with dark side points of doing it, huh? But where the hell do I lower city?
Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha chupa panki. off limits. Only Sith Patrol. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you... Well, why didn't you say so? Hmm. Just be careful.
why is it not giving me parts?
On behalf of Gadden, I want to offer the thanks of all the hidden Vex. You rode like a true champion in the swoop race. I'm sorry Gadden can't be here to thank you in person, but he's retired to the safety of his private chambers. I'm afraid he's grieving over Brezhik's death. Even so, I think Gadden hoped that somehow Brezhik could be made to realize the error of his ways. Despite everything he had done, Gadden probably would have forgiven him. Gadden always was too soft on Brezhik. I just wish I'd been there when that scum got what was coming to him. Brezhik violated the customs and traditions of Taris. He dishonored himself by refusing to honor his wager. He got what he deserved. Even Gadden has to realize that. But he isn't out of danger yet. The surviving Valkyrs will still want him dead. He's a prime target now, as are you. You better be careful out on the streets. Chi 
Kuya mi, juski i chika nai. Upa baska dwana chichopa muska. Chiska da soki kupa bona na chachu. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Just kronki to petslimo. Chi ita kanki chana kilikon. Kinba muli ra dwana ji. Kinba no ku nixet abog. That's the plan. Nothing to see here. I'm here.
¿Ya? Alderaan. Uncle Louis. Okay. What? Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is... I gave you a chance to get out. Now you'll see what...
Greetings, stranger. My name is Gel. If you're ever... I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race, and mention that you're interested. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some... While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk at a... Really? Okay, who else though? But there are billions of people on Terrace. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you... Stupid fucking... Yeah, I can't hear anything, so, yeah. Okay, let me get to a point where I can save it. Alright all, idiot here. Hopefully you can still hear me.